Welcome to another episode of The Worthy Physician. I'm your host, Dr. Sapna Shawhawk. On today's episode, I'm going to look at the pearls and extract those from the last few episodes. Dr. Jean Baptiste, also known as the Metaverse Doc, talked about the importance of having a safe space. That's incredibly important because of the nature of medicine, how difficult it is, how stressful it is. The culture really does not encourage feelings, frustrations, good and bad things to be discussed. It's usually look down, don't create any waves, and just get through everything. In medicine of the last couple of years, Pandora's box has been open after the pandemic. It has brought forth really what we've been discussing beforehand, or at least it has at least brought it toward the forefront of understaffing, of access to care, of abusing clinicians and other healthcare workers. But also in the same in the same line, there is still hope. Because it's we're aware of it. There are multiple solutions that are being brought forth. There's innovation. And whether there's necessity, innovation will be driven. It will drive innovation. One of the takeaway points from that episode is to take care of yourself, reach out, and hope for med. If you're early on in your career, hope for med, H-O-P-E, the number four, and then med. Look at the platform. Look at the platform and use it as a tool. Other tools are Physicians Anonymous and Physician Coach Support. Also, do not discard or discredit counseling life coaching, as well as employee assistance programs. Your mental health matters. You matter. You can be replaced at work immediately, but you cannot be replaced at home. Pragmatic mindfulness and authentic well-being with Dr. Gail Gazelle, I think, highlighted the difference with mindfulness that we can use to our advantage. Burnout is not something that Again, it is not the fault of the physician. It is not the fault of the clinician or healthcare worker. Let's make that very, very clear. We are operating, we are working in a broken system where profit is put before health. These are things that need to change. I don't know if they will. Those powers are much bigger than you or I. That's insurance companies, drug companies, and Congress, CMS, but we can choose how we show up every day. We can choose how we respond. I'm going to read something that I wrote back in 2021. It was during a time when I found it very difficult as far as just more of an existential crisis. No homicidal or suicidal thoughts. It was more of, what am I doing with my life? And reads today was pulled back under the waters of what may have been dismay. I am not sure how to label what I felt, but I paused and paused again. I pushed the proverbial pause button. I took a deep breath and kept driving, kept driving forward. Imagery wise, I was able to kick and pull away the tentacles of whatever was pulling me down, whatever was weighing me down keeping my head above water, trying not to panic. I felt anger of thinking, why am I feeling this way? But I realized that I was triggered, but I was mindful about how to identify it, feel the feelings, but being able to channel them aside in order to continue on with the day. I acknowledge I am human. I acknowledge that I need to feel my feelings, and in doing so without substance, I have remembered the past, understood more complexity. With more complexity, I've understand that I am okay. Redefining boundaries are okay. And I share this with a listener because it goes back to having a safe space, allowing yourself to feel the feelings, being human, and also being mindful. It takes practice to do that. It takes practice to, I think, first allow ourselves to feel human. Because we are, and we have to allow those those emotions to come forth. It's okay. It does not make us weak. It makes us whole. 
it makes us whole because then we get to tap into our humanity. And when we do that, we honor who we are. And if you, and if you don't know who you are on that level, sometimes the hardest and first step is self-forgiveness. Compassion to the self, forgiveness to the self, and loving every messy part of you. Grief can be part of that. Grieving that it's been so long since you've maybe seen the authentic self. Maybe it is something that you are just now getting to know. Maybe it's something that scares you and that's okay, but it is okay to be pushed out of your comfort zone. And in fact, that is one of the constant things in life. So being mindful is not yoga or meditating your way out of burnout. That's ridiculous. Well, those are tools to, because just life is hard, pragmatic mindfulness, how are you going to show up? How can you spend your time and your energy? We have two limited resources, time and energy. And at the end, time wins because we are all finite. So today, tomorrow, next week, next month, how are you going to show up? How do you choose? You have that ability to choose. And then acknowledging that we do work in a very fast-paced society. I really, really wanted to follow Dr. Gazelle's conversation with Dr. Lungs. Because it is about being mindful. It is about understanding it's okay to want to spend time with your family. It is okay that when you're at home, you're completely at home. When you're at work, you're completely at work. It is okay to have those boundaries. It is okay to want to have your basic needs met right? We are social creatures. We have families. We have things that we like to do outside of work. So being efficient, learning how to chart, uh, give up the perfectionism of not everything has to be a grammatically correct English paper. This is not college English. This is not a, a paper that's going to be published. This is a medical record for your reference and for colleagues' references. Should you be setting a consult if you're in primary care, if you're the specialist doing the consult. Let the grammar go. Let the perfection, the perfectionist part of you, let it go. Really structure as to what is urgent, high priority, medium, and low priority. Structure your day as to, okay, when I get to work, I'm going to have questions, check email, etc. throughout the day. Really look at what is going to be best for your flow. And I would just have I would encourage you to have this discussion with your medical assistant, your nurse, your colleagues. So hopefully throughout these episodes you've been able to extract a point or two. And one big thing that I there constantly is throughout these episodes is self care is not selfish. You matter because you are human, because you woke up today, because you are breathing, that enough alone makes you worthy. You're a human being. I'm glad you're here. And if you found this episode helpful, share it with a friend, like, subscribe, because we can all use some camaraderie combating burnout.